Imagine we're creating a web application. As the amount of features we add keeps growing, the JavaScript and CSS bundles needed to power these new features will grow larger as well. If we don't mitigate these bundle sizes in some way, we can get into a situation where our browser is trying to process so many resources on the page load that it can really start to negatively affect things like time to first paint, which is basically a measure of how long it takes for the first visual piece of information to appear on your screen when you're trying to visit a website. So when we're talking about code splitting, basically what we want to do is try to get smart about how we're breaking up these big bundles of JavaScript and CSS. In other words, can we strategically load portions of each, some right at the beginning and some later on when it makes sense, rather than everything everywhere all at once immediately at the start? So there are a few different ways we could go about this. We could split by page, so we only load the resources we need for the current page we're looking at. In React world, we used to have to do this by manually basically declaring which pages we want to have their own bundle split out from the main bundle. And now with frameworks like Next, we usually get this kind of behavior straight out of the box. It's pretty nice. The other option is that we can lazy load certain resources within the page, especially stuff that's non-critical, like any features that exist below the fold, that is any stuff that's lower down on the page than what's initially rendered, or any code that's actually only used when the user interacts with some element like a button which launches a dialogue window. In general, we should try to think about using lazy loading to strategically load certain features in the order of urgency for when they're needed as far as what the user should experience. So let's imagine we're building some kind of news feed like Facebook. The first thing we should think about is painting something to the page. It doesn't have to be anything necessarily functional, just an indication that some processes are happening. We don't want the user to just see a blank screen while they're waiting for stuff to load. That's not a very pleasant experience. We should give them some indication of stuff loading, like skeleton loaders, for all of our UI components. This is a pretty neat technique which can be accomplished with pure CSS, meaning we can just focus on loading a tiny CSS bundle first. And if you want to see how this is built, I would recommend Google searching pure CSS skeleton loader. The next thing we need to render is some basic JavaScript to display everything above the fold. After this bundle loads, there really shouldn't be anything on the screen moving around or shifting or loading. And after that, we can think about rendering anything we need below the fold, as well as code for event handlers, error logging, analytics, embedding, subscriptions for live updating data, that is WebSockets, advertisements, etc. And if you want to read about how Facebook handled these sort of three tiers of loading content, there's a great article from 2020 called Rebuilding Our Tech Stack from the Facebook Engineering Blog, which I recommend.